What is up guys, I'm here at the London Dungeon and I'm about to pull off the biggest prank I have ever done. We have axes, night vision cameras, and a whole load of scary stuff. I told my dad and my little brother Josh that we've got some free tickets to the London Dungeon just to do a few little Instagram pictures and stories, but in reality, it's one big elaborate setup to give them the scare of their lives. Let's go. So it's 6 p.m. and my dad, my girlfriend, and my little brother Josh all arrive at the London Dungeon. There's dad. There's Josh. Are you ready, Josh? Yeah, I'm ready. Ready for it? Ready for it, dad? Ready for it, Bex? Yeah. We made sure that there's a queue of actors who are also going to be on the tour, as well as the real baggage inspections and a group photo to make sure they didn't expect a thing. And they seem pretty confident they wouldn't be scared as well. Do you think you'll be scared, dad? No. no, you don't think you'll be scared? Do you think you'll be scared, Josh? No. <laughs> we'll see about that. Anyway, I wanted to start off big, so pretty much in the first room, I said I was dying for the toilet and couldn't hold it. Alright guys, so I just told my dad I'm dying for the toilet, I'm currently getting let out, and uh, they have no idea. Alright guys, so we start off big. This is pretty much the first room that we'll come into and I'll be here any minute now. So Bex, who is also in on the prank, will lead my dad and my little brother up to this gate to have a look at the two plague doctors. One doesn't speak much and the other will be me. Hey Josh, look how creepy their outfits are. Prank one was a success. My dad hasn't moved this much in 10 years and neither of them had a clue it was me. I then rejoined them on the tour after being on the toilet and was able to film them being picked on the whole tour by the dungeon dwellers who were of course told specifically to pick on my dad and little brother. Special, you sir, raise your arm in the air. Oh look a volunteer, lovely, into the chair. What do I use it for? This. <laughs> As you can see, a new target has presented itself. Yes. Chris. Chris. Follow me. <laughs> you really have the reaper about you. <coughs> All the symptoms of the plague. This won't hurt a bit. Oh. Hey, I told you it wouldn't hurt. Oh. I'll stop making a fuss. Oh. Ooh, you really are a screamer, aren't you, Chris? Why ain't you laughing? <laughs> you must have now. Uh, Chris. Chris! Oh, there's a nice bit of meat on you, isn't it? <laughs> so, there you go. And as the tour was nearing the end, it was time for... So my excuse to sneak away this time was to start taking Instagram pictures as my dad and little brother casually carried on to the next room. And I also made sure I got the word to them that I was leaving the tour to just quickly do a photo shoot for the London Dungeon social media team. Essentially they had no suspicions that I was leaving to prank them for a second time. So here we are in Manchester Square getting ready for the second and final prank of the day. Throughout the whole tour, my dad and my little brother have been constantly picked on by the dungeon dwellers and any moment now, they'll be entering through this door right here into Mitre Square and be greeted by a legendary tale about Jack the Ripper. This kid on the loose and he's calling himself Jack the Ripper. At the end of the tale, myself, dressed as Jack the Ripper, will jump from the statue of the man himself 
I give my dad and my little brother the scare of their lives. Here we go, guys. I'm so excited for this. Let's go. Catherine Adams. Oh, those things are right. Guys, really by the middle of her. Stomach slice, face cut to ribbons, and all of this was just minutes ago, which, which means wherever he is, he isn't far. He could be anywhere. Or anyone. The question is, is who's next? But take it from me. Stick together. Standing alert from every corner and white one. Left or right doesn't make a difference. Just keep your throats covered. Yes. It was then time to reveal to my dad and little brother that it was me pranking them all along. They genuinely didn't know as both these pranks were done in almost complete darkness. And I also thought I'd hide behind the exit door to give them one last scare. Why not? It's me! <laughs> Got you twice! <laughs> Oh god, I got you twice. I was the plague doctor, and I was Jack the Ripper. <laughs> yeah, 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 I was Jack the Ripper. <laughs> got you, and I was the plague doctor. Oh, that is brilliant. I got you so good. <laughs> these are, these are, these are all, all these are actors, by the way. All actors. All these are actors, so thank you very much, guys. I laughed at my jokes. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you for watching that video. Hope you did enjoy it. Huge shout out to London Dungeon for making this whole prank possible and also sponsoring this video. Um, the London Dungeon is a must go experience with your family this summer. Make sure you use the code PRANK30 to get 30% off your tickets and come down here this summer with your family. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed that video. You should definitely keep that on, it looks a whole lot better, doesn't it? And make sure you smash the like button, subscribe if you're new, comment down below, and most importantly, come down to the London Dungeon this summer with your family. See you in the next one.